So this is a little video that documents our week at the Green Door Studio in Robertson, New South Wales. Rachie with no sleep. I have not slept yet. So Rachie had just arrived from Italy and she was very tired. We went straight down to the Southern Highlands to Mum's place and I'm showing you a little snippets of her home right now. Um, Mum has a very creative apartment with lots and lots of different bits and pieces. Um, some bits she has made herself and some bits she, other people have made and she is a great collector of pretty things. Throughout this video you'll get some scenic shots of the Southern Highlands around Robertson and we saw a couple of cute little kangaroos in a field so decided to film them. And then this is us sorting out some of our fabric packs that we gave out to participants in our class. And here is basically us setting up for our class so they got an old um, book. Um, most of them were from the 17 and 1800s. Um, they got a pack of gorgeous little bits and pieces from Rachel, which is the smaller one, and then a larger one from me, which had scraps of fabric and laces, etc. So down the middle of the table, we had lots of threads and scissors and people had needles, all the different things that you'd need to make some lovely Roxy Journal of Stitchery pages. So on a table set up, um, around the studio was a lot of our work so Rachel, Juju and myself we had some samples of our work to give people inspiration and ideas of what they could do and we left that display up there and allowed people to just go and have a look through our stuff take pictures and get ideas of what they wanted to do on their pages And here is just a little bit more vision of the setup of the studio ready for our wonderful people to arrive. Our workshop was completely sold out. Um, we actually reached our max number and allowed um, the owner Zoe of the Green Door Studio to add in a few more people as long as we could fit them in the room. Um, because we figured it was okay to increase the numbers because we had two of us teaching and also mum or Juju was also available to walk around and help people with some ideas. So we really hope that everyone enjoyed our day. We think they did. We're pretty sure they did um, because it had such a wonderful vibe during the day and there was some amazing work that was being done. So here is some footage of our workshop in action with all our wonderful people. We had one wonderful person, Wanette. Hi, Wanette, from the US who came to join us and a couple of amazing people from New Zealand and then all over Australia, interstate and from around Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, etc. And it was just such a fantastic day. Everyone was so um encouraging and sharing their work and there was it was just we left the day feeling great and we hope that everybody that participated in our course felt great as well so final bit of footage here there's Rachie then we moved on to our week with the amazing Fleur Woods our first morning and people are starting to arrive at the Green Door studio Fleur had a table set up with lots of supplies that we could use and samples of her work so we could get some inspiration. And over on the other side of the studio, we had some packs of hand-dyed Fleur fabrics that we could buy, hand-dyed wools. We had some sample of her works and she also had a stack of her books for sale. Um, quite a few people didn't have her book yet, so it was a great opportunity to purchase one. And I'm pretty sure everyone by the end of the week was able to get a lovely note signed by Fleur inside their book.
On Tuesday morning, several of us went to Carrington Falls to have a look at um, the gorgeous waterfalls that are only about 10, 15 minutes from the studio. So here are some of our people. We've got Wynette from the US, Rachie, Fleur and lovely Christine. And here I am with Zoe, the owner of the Green Door Studio. And then this is myself with the Sunnies and Rachie. And then here we have myself with the gorgeous Fleur, who is our guru. This is the uh, Green Door Studio in Robertson, southern, New South Wales Southern Highlands. We've got a wonderful misty day today. Absolutely beautiful. Robertson gets uh, mist quite regularly like this. It's really beautiful. So over here, if I turn around, we've got the actual studio. It's a really cool shed, which um, Zoe has turned into her Green Door Studio business. And we like to come here quite regularly. Um, I'm going to take you inside and show you a little bit about what we've been doing this week and I'm going to show you the studio and later on um, you'll get to hear a little bit from Zoe. Okay, so we'll just bypass our participants. Have a look at the studio first. So here we go, a wall of wonderful things that you can buy. Okay, this is kind of like the chill out, chill out zone got books oh look what I see look at that book there we are our guest workshop leader Fleur Woods as I showed you in a video it's an example of some of the work that's been done this week I think that's lovely Zoe's I hope she doesn't mind me showing you that okay we've got a couple of lunch tables here Look at this. Look at that. So much texture. I'll show you up close so you can see. Amazing. Look at that. All right. Over here, got a sink for cleanup, got a painting station. Okay. And here's our workroom. Oh, look, Wynette. Hi, Wynette. You're on video. Oh. Hi. And there's Rachie. <laughs> and Gigi's hiding. <laughs> this was our supply table when we first came this week. This was full of stuff. Um, it's definitely diminished throughout the week. And here's some examples of some of the work that's been done. Bit of bling bling. <coughs> Yeah. Look at all that beadwork. Yes. And that's, show us yours, Juju. Here's Wynette's. Yes, lovely. Look at that. Mine is octopus. Yes. Okay, here's Rachie's. It's coming along. It does take a long Let's move this plate out of the way. These are her clay pieces that she'll, she'll place some of them in. Let's have a look at some of this detail. Still a work in progress, so much to do. <laughs> you 
<laughs> you better take that out. <laughs> this is mine, work in progress. Still progressing. Let's see Juju's. There it is. Starting to come together. She was a bit slow at the beginning. She didn't do much. Took her about two days to get into it, but now it's progressing. She was socialising. She was she was talking too much. <laughs> Here's one that's a little bit different. Not sure about that one. Juju, it's, it's on camera. Just, it's, still going. it's still progressing. It takes longer. I think being flowers. Flowers like that take a really long time. But it will get there. Have we got any more we can look at? Yes, coming around. Here we go. Here's another one we can look at. Look at all of that. So much work. This one. Hang on. We'll just have a look around here. A few bits of Fleur's work here. This is just uh, a piece that Fleur's currently working on. I have to show you these. So I'll just put, oh, I'll put this over here. Sorry, I'm moving you around. Just some sample stitching. And then this was a little example of a piece of work that Fleur did. It's amazing. And then this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I did that. Beautiful. All right, we're coming to have a look at a bit more work. Let's have a look at this one. So you can see that they're all really different. Most of them are some kind of underwater seascape, but they're all just a little bit different. And I've got one more to show you over here oh look at the beadwork it's really beautiful and the little crochet pod really stunning so i hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the green door studio some lovely works on the wall by fleur miss morrisby over there in the corner and a huge weaving by natalie miller all right, thanks for watching. Okay, this is beautiful oh. Zoe. We love Zoe. We love you, Zoe. And I'm not a rock star. I've got my glasses on because I've been crying. She's I've got a little <laughs> bit emotional this morning. Everything's coming, she's well, not everything's coming to an end, but the five days coming to an end. She's our adopted rock star. <laughs> <laughs> so Zoe owns this amazing studio, which I've got a little tour that I'll add into this video. And Zoe, I just want to ask you a few questions. Okay. Tell us about your business. Tell us about oh. your business. Oh, I've got you. <laughs> Oh, tell, you're attached tell, us, like. tell us about your studio. All right. Well, Green Door Studios started about four years ago in another location. And we moved here a year ago into this fabulous new studio. Um, I do my very best to collect artists from wherever um, around the world, as you know, and bring them here, uh, look after the artists, and then they deliver amazing art and they craft do. workshops. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit about the different types of workshops you have yeah, here? sure. Well, there's I mean, heaps of textile workshops, uh, weaving workshops, painting. We've had photography. We've had ceramics. We've got Japanese painting. We've got Japanese mending. We've got indigo dyeing shibori borrow everything um, everything <laughs> everything we can get our hands on we've got it coming up we've got a a wonderful workshop coming up to help artists write their um, artist statements you know a lot of artists oh. struggle when they do you know so we've got a highly qualified um person coming to, we did it last year it was brilliant and we're doing it again this year yeah so there's there's always there's a full program Okay, can we just explain to our viewers what location you are, just for people? Yeah. It's really for. I mean, it's not just for people in Australia because we've got we've got yeah. uh, we've had a few visitors from overseas. Yeah, this week, international we? visitors from the states and from Europe, and, um, and New Zealand, and New Zealand, and loads New Zealand. from New Zealand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we regularly get workshoppers coming from New Zealand and making it part of their, you know, uh, trek or their holiday or um, vacation. Um, we are in Robertson in the Southern Highlands of New South Wales. We're an hour and a half from Sydney and an, two hours from Canberra, so pretty much equidistant. 
We're about 40 minutes from Wollongong and half an hour from 45 minutes from Kayama and the south coast. Um, it kind of puts us in a really good central location. We're not in the middle of Sydney, but we are really accessible by car or train from the airport down into B Barrel and I can pick you up from Barrel um, and we're in the <laughs> Sorry, middle I'll pick you up. <laughs> we're in the middle of this beautiful countryside with roll green rolling hills you know they filmed the babe movie here and uh it's you know that, that that's why they chose this place because it just you know it's just so green and so yeah. beautiful yeah. so easy to do i i've done this many times day trip down here for yeah. a class day trip from sydney day trip from canberra, canberra yeah. or if you want to stay there's a, like zoe's got a b and b if it's available but there's many amazing places there that is. you can stay yeah. and lots of like great things to see down here wineries great food places galleries good shops, galleries etc um last thing i want to ask you can you share with us any exciting news about classes you've got coming up or that people might be interested in oh well we've got a great one next sunday by <laughs> these two chicks sold out yeah, sold, oh, out. sold out yeah that's right sold out um we've got um we've actually uh got a space come available on flow woods two-day workshop oh, next week oh, no. tuesday and wednesday if anybody wants to jump on the website um Look, do just jump on the website. There are heaps of workshops there. Um, and I'm all the time talking to artists and working on getting new stuff live. Um, we will be confirming with Fleur today her visit for next year. Yeah, book in. Well, we're booked in first. It's like a yeah, regular spot for yeah, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. permanent. It yeah. doesn't matter what the she's Roxy doing. <laughs> yeah. And Juju are here. Yeah, good. I can guarantee on three, <laughs> three of you will be there. Yeah, no, they fill out pretty quick, as do your workshops, obviously. We've got Natalie Miller coming in June to do a tapestry weave. She's amazing. I did she's my first amazing. class with Zoe with like through Zoe's studio with Natalie. That was my yeah. first ever. I wanted to try weaving. Yeah. So she's brilliant. Lots yeah, of she... hand dyeing of her own walls as We've well, got Pauline Franklin coming over from WA in, in um, August. Nice. Uh, we've got the Shibori people and the Indigo dyeing in June. Because that's a good couple of days, mm. um, a two day and a one day. Yeah, so many to choose from. Please just hop onto the website and just scroll through. And can I say, when you come, you always get really yummy treats from Zoe. And I highly recommend the Fleur Slice. Yeah, the Fleur Slice. <laughs> the Fleur Slice. And if when booking, just put in the comments, Fleur Slice, please. And yes, I'll bake amazing. one that day. Yeah. <laughs> She's the best cook. And she makes gorgeous lunches too. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you, Zoe. We've thank had the best you. time this week. It's, gosh, it's been amazing. Know, There's going to so be, uh, I think it'll be a snot fest this afternoon with all the tears. <laughs> Especially yes. from the one behind the camera, yeah. Rachel. <laughs> 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 All right. Thank Thanks, you, Zoe. Girls. Thanks Thank for having you, me, Zoe. Oh, Thank you. We'll see you next Sunday anyway. Oh. Yeah, we'll see you next yeah, week. See you next <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> right. No tears on our behalf. Thanks no, for watching, everyone. Right. Bye. 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 <laughs>
years ago, possibly like 10 years ago now, I just started kind of mucking around with mixed media. I've always wanted to create, I mean, it's just in my DNA and, but I, I would collect vintage textiles and I didn't know like why us. they were important. Yeah, exactly <laughs> like, like you guys and that's yeah. why your work resonates. Yeah. But um, I just never really understood why they mattered to me and then I started collaging them into my work and then I just slowly, tentatively started stitching and the the process and the action of stitching just had my heart and, and so yeah. it just that took me on a whole journey yeah so um my third question i wanted to ask is what inspires you the most in terms of your work and what you do uh probably the two things that just really set my soul on fire are nature and textiles yeah Okay, so they're my questions. Now we're going to go to part two with Rachie's going to be on camera. All right, so Fleur will be back with you in a minute. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, Fleur, here we have. Show them the Fleur slice. Why? Oh, let's get your face, it's not your body. Why is Fleur slice so good? I have no idea, but it's, <laughs> it's just delicious. <laughs> we love it. Fleur slice. I'm going to show you Fleur slice. It's over here. Rachie, show us the slice. Oh, here it is. This is the Fleur Slice. This is what everyone this goes is for. Super duper. Yum. It's got jam in it. It's got sweet biscuity muesli. Oh, it's so good. Are you here to tell us about Fleur Slice? I love Fleur Slice. Why? Why do you love Fleur Slice? The jam. She's just an incredible cook. <laughs> So here we have some gorgeous artworks by Fleur that are on the wall of the Green Door Studio. You can't see the detail that well in the video, but all those flowers have some wonderful embroidery and different techniques that Fleur uses to create her artworks. And looking at some lovely flowers that one of the um, studio members brought in. And we're going to have a look now at the final works that the participants made. So on the bottom right-hand corner, that is Juju's work and mine is next to it on the left. And then Rachel's is in that top left-hand corner, that sort of aquary green kind of one. You can see it there now. So this took five days to complete these works, but like me, pretty much everyone except Rachel, because she worked like a mad woman, um, have still got work to do. Can I just take a moment to just put a, put a little wrap around this, a little bow around this experience. Um, ladies, I just want to take a quick moment before we all scatter off in our different directions. I just take the chair off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are amazing women, and I feel so privileged to have spent this week with you. And just a massive thanks to Zoe as well for hosting us. Yeah. And how beautiful to come in every day and then you put little things for us like ribbons oh, and yeah. yes. made us all feel so special and really appreciate it. Yeah. Really appreciate it. I think we all did it for each other, which yeah. was what makes it so special. And thank you yeah. for the extra five kilos, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here is a close-up of Rachel's work. She actually um, did all that whole piece in neutral fibres and then um, hand-painted it with some different colours in her favourite kind of tones. That smaller one on the right's not Rachel's, it was someone else's. But you'll see here some of the other participants, a little bit closer so you can see some of the details. So all of the works um, are looking very different, even though we all kind of had the same theme. We were essentially going for corals, coral reefs or under the ocean. Um, and then some people decided to do some slightly different things like forest creations. And um, yeah, there was just a mix, but most, mostly it's under, under the water scenes. When we're coming up to mine, um, the video doesn't do the colours justice. It was all done in neutral, creamy and white tones. And then I've added pops of colour. Um, Mum's, which is this one here, is more pastel. <laughs> 